Hey Sumalings and Hapsumal Fanatics! Black Friday is here and to celebrate we are helping you get an extra 10% off at AppSumo. Welcome to the Tech of the Future podcast by Podcast Launch Agency hosted by Chris Kounin. In this limited series podcast, you'll meet the founders of Chopcast, Resound, SEO Crawl and more. Discover how to use these tools to grow your business or launch your podcast. Find out about the founders' vision, their favorite features and listen out for special prizes that you could win. Now you can obviously choose your target list. And we created so much, so many design options, whether you want to go with the full on blast and design, or if you want to create a simple editor, that means you can make it look like it's going out from your inbox. We provide the capabilities for you to do that. And our editors have preloaded templates, blocks, we call them. So you can design the email and make it look fully branded as you please bear with me as I'm sharing my screen, things slow down here. Any questions so far? Are we... Am I doing good on time? You're doing perfect and just the right pace for me. (laughs) Sweet. All right, so you can see this is a traditional drag and drop builder. You can just choose the structure you want. Let's say I want two boxes and and then one box below it, or let's do one above. Perhaps I want sections that VBOD provides for me. So let's say I want to drop this one in here. So you can make it and adapt it to your own needs. But we have an AI content as well. So you connect your open AI and you can say, I want to create a welcome email series. And this will create, they'll give you some ideas using open AI. You can do inbox testing by using the inbox preview to see how this looks like on different devices. And you can just do a spam test to check for any spam keywords. So if you're an email marketer, you know how valuable it is to have those tools when you're sending out emails. And this is what sets VBOT apart from some of the beginner tools is we have so many advanced features like this. So you can test the campaign properly, check the format, create content using AI. And at the end of the day, track pretty much everything. Who is opening what, at what time, where are they coming from, bounce rates, complaint rates. And we handle all the hygiene of your list. So you don't have to worry about who unsubscribed and who bounced and who complains. The system will take care of that for you, right? Lots more that you can do here. You can create your email templates repository and just kind of share them with the teams. Overall, I think we have everything you need to launch a successful email campaign. Moving on to the next tool. Any questions before I do that? About opt-in. So with the the opt-in process, is it a single opt-in or a double opt-in coming from a lead magnet? Oh, you choose. If you want a double opt-in, a single opt-in, we... We work with thousands of agencies and we kind of taken all that feedback. So you can bake this into, into the system. If you want a double opt-in, you can activate that option. If you want it to be a single opt-in, you can just add them to the system as confirmed. So we're not really, what we do is we trust our clients as much as possible to the moment they start sending. So the first few email campaigns, we kind of look at the campaign quality. If you're a new customer, you'll notice we have something called moderation phase. Every campaign and every email and every landing page that get launched, we make sure that one, you're not a spammer. Two, you're not a scammer, right? Two different things. You're not trying to use phishing kind of assets on the system by building Bank of America, reset your password or PayPal, you know, forget your password kind of thing. We test everybody before. I'm sorry, we review every email that campaign that goes out. So we trust you on onboarding side of things that you're doing the right thing as a marketer, We build that relationship with you. I guess the point of what I'm trying to get to here is we we don't force double opt-ins. Okay. We, yeah. So does that still work? Let's say we're using like Papli or Zapier and we're pulling in our database from a third-party vendor. Like what what are we looking at as far as that coming in? Because some some other platforms, essentially they will allow you to pull in large database, but then once you start sending it out, they're going to want you to double opt-in to make sure that you're not spamming. We don't, we don't force double opt-ins. Okay. Again, we trust you. And honestly, I was talking to my team about this because a lot of people say, we want to send some cold emails. We have a small list. I mean, there's always a fine line, right? First, you got to understand the jurisdictions in your country. If your country allow you to send out cold emails or not, because you can get in deep trouble. Second, when you send out a cold email, you can get flagged immediately because Gmail and friends, they know, right? People are spamming you. People are complaining. You're sending a lot of emails to emails that bounced or don't exist or inactive. 
So we pick up on this data pretty quickly. And if you caused harm, you can get disabled, right? Or, or your, your sending will pause. So we won't allow you to send until we justify why your list was, was bad. So we put the, the weight on you and the responsibility on the marketer to actually vet the list properly, use the proper technique to do a cold outreach if needed, which we don't, I don't encourage it, but that's on you. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna, the systems know. You cannot just get around it by sending out tons of spam. We detect it, okay? Thanks for listening. Because it's Black Friday, we want to help you never pay full price again. Get an extra 10% off on top of your Black Friday savings by signing up for AppSumo Plus. Get all the links to the featured deals and sign up to AppSumo Plus by visiting podcastlaunchagency.com forward slash Black Friday.